Oh, snap! It's another snap review from the family gamers. Isn't it nice to lay here in the grass, look up at the sky and see the clouds? There's a dog floating by. I think I see a car. I think that one's a train. Do I see Bernie Sanders and his mittens? <sighs> Always with the mittens. If I point at a cloud, can you guess what I see in it? This is a snap review for a cloud control. Cloud Control is a party-style game for 3 to 10 players ages 8+. plus. It's designed by Eugene Bryant and published by 25th Century Games. Let's talk about the art. Just like in many other Pictionary-style games, the art in Cloud Control is in the eye of the beholder. You are crafting cloud shapes from various cloud cards in Cloud Control, and the game lends plenty of options for you to be endlessly creative. The word cards couldn't be more clear, with the high and low point clues easy to differentiate. The colors match exactly what you'd expect to see when looking up at a bright blue summer sky. Anitra, let's talk about how to play the game Cloud Control. Cloud Control is a party game at its core, so it's very simple to play, although the setup can be a little bit of a bear. Actually, Mom, bears don't have tails. If you look, it's actually more like a dog. Yeah, sorry, honey, that cloud does have a tail. <sighs> anyway... To start, you separate the 64 cards into 16 stacks. That's four of each type. Arrange these stacks in a 4x4 four four grid in the middle of the table. This is the hardest part of the game. Each player takes a turn in the first round of the game. During a player's turn, they take a clue card from the deck and study the clues on it. The clue at the bottom is for the lightning round. Leave that one out. Once they're ready, they flip the timer and get to work creating their clues with the various cloud cards from the grid. But hold on, this is not like a normal Pictionary game. The clue giver can move the cloud cards around once they're in place to kind of animate their image, trying to get someone to guess with motion instead of just a picture. For each correctly guessed clue, the clue giver and the appropriate guesser get that many points. Different clues are worth different point values, so pay attention to who gets what. If nobody guesses correctly, nobody gets any points at all. Once everyone has had a turn making cloud shapes, it's time for the lightning round. Ba-boom! <laughs> Flip the next card in the clue deck face up and show the lightning clue at the bottom to everyone. Everyone has 90 seconds, which is the length of the timer, to make their best version of that clue. Then everyone has 90 seconds to make their case as to why their shape picture is the best. At the end of this, everyone votes on the best shape, and that player gets five points. If there's a tie... Each tied player gets the five points. After the lightning round, everyone takes turns making cloud shapes again. Once everyone has had a second turn, tally up your points, and whoever has the most points wins. So, Andrew, let's talk about our expectations for cloud control. Yeah, so when I first saw cloud control and looked through the components on how to play the game, I was instantly reminded of this game Imagine from GameRight. I expected cloud control to play similarly to Imagine, and the core mechanic of the game is actually very similar. But Imagine is relatively themeless, and I can appreciate the attempt here with clouds in the sky as a theme. I don't know how much it carries through, but the cloud cards and then the kites for points do a pretty good job reinforcing the ideas. So unfortunately, because of the pandemic restrictions, we were not able to get a large group of people to play the team variant, which looks very fun. The group separates into two teams, and a clue giver from each team is racing to create the same shape and have their team guess it first. I like this idea because it feels a little bit more collaborative than this slightly cutthroat everybody for themselves. I expect that to be very fun. So, Nitra, what surprised us about Cloud Control? The biggest surprise was just how hard this game is. <laughs> There's 300 clue cards in the game. It's possible that maybe we just happen to get the hardest ones every time we played, but I don't think so. We've played enough. This shouldn't happen every time. Some of these pictures are very, very hard to make, even the one-point pictures. Or we're really bad at this game. Uh, maybe that, too. I think both. <laughs> I was also surprised, and again, maybe this is related to the difficulty, at the runaway nature of the game. Claire just pastes us in this game every time we play it, and it's not even close. We had one game where she had to quit halfway through, and she still won. If you've got one player who can put abstract pictures together well, it's just impossible to catch them. There's nothing in this game to mitigate that level of skill, unfortunately. It's not a surprise that our artistic child is the best at this, but just how dramatic it was caught us off guard. 
I really did enjoy the challenge of creating meaningful shapes with fixed cards though. Cloud control forces you to think creatively, whether you're crafting a quick pictogram or a cleverly animated character. I have to admit that sometimes my complete and total lack of artistic skill left pretty much everybody laughing at me with how ridiculous my pictures ended up. If you like Pictionary style games, but you're looking for something a little different, consider Cloud Control. You can find it at Amazon or at 25thcenturygames.com for 25 bucks. All right, well, Asher, what do you think will rate Cloud Control from 25th Century Games? This one has got to be rated three drifting butterfly clouds out of five. And that's Cloud Control in a snap. snap.